<laughs> no, you're right. Oh, I love this game so much. Oh my god. I'm gonna be a pirate. Okay. Arr. Me mates. So you are a pirate, eh? Arr. I don't think anybody around here's got anything for a pirate. Oh I yeah? Got oh I got pirate. Got <laughs> Same here. Who wants to go first? Tim, go ahead. All right. No, I changed my mind. Okay. That's the pirate thing to do. <laughs> you know, arr. <laughs> Life out on the sea is hard, and as you it's hard. attack other hard. vessels and, and kill your foes, everyone knows that you're going to take a trophy. Why not take ears and put them in your ear basket? <laughs> so you remember it, every person killed to get the treasures you got. Skip it flesh? Yeah, it'll actually, it, it's fragranced so that as they decay, you won't realize it. Because pirates smell so good on a fresh. <laughs> You know well, what? The <laughs> no. After hearing this, you need my product even more than you did before. Okay, so you're a pirate. You got a ship. You kidnap people and make them work on the ship. But you know what? You don't know who gets seasick. How many people on your ship that you brought on to work for you are currently vomiting all over the place, throwing up, making it hard to walk around? You're slipping and somebody's puking. You fall outside and you die. That's right. why you need the vomit vacuum. <laughs> Very illiterate. <laughs> the vomit vacuum cleans up every ounce of vomit that comes out of the thing. It cleans up just like that. Not an ounce of puke, stink, vomit, or bile. I just throw them off the plank. But not the vomit. You have to clean that up. Do you want to get your hands dirty? No, you got a vomit vacuum. You get, did you just look at a nasty ass basket of ears? Vomit vacuum. How's it powered? It sucks, my friend. And you know what else? Some of those pirates can use that suck to do. Vomit vacuum. You. Uh, oh, I just stopped listening. I don't know if you can have anything. Yes. All right. You're a pirate. Long days at sea. You can't let the men know how lonely you are. <laughs> Back you. You need yourself. <laughs> she can't say it with a straight face. Hold on. A pool doll to take care of any needs you might have. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. You just for your inhalers. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Is it easily cleaned? <laughs> Yeah. Just dump it back in the pool for a while. <laughs> there's lots of chlorine in there. Hold on, there's a pool on this There's ship? a pool on the pirate ship? Hey, you can have anything he wants. He's a pirate. Uh, oh, a pool doll. Your very own. You've always wanted one. <laughs> I can't help but you're a female pirate. <laughs> well, you know, some parts of the pool doll are inflatable. All right here. So, right, piracy. You're running abreast of another ship, but you need to get across to conquer it and get your bounty. <laughs> and, you know, pirates, they like their rum. They get a little, and they're... You get a little of their what? Uh, they get a little flatulent, you know? <laughs> so what you... <laughs> That's how you blow up the doll. So why not get a... <laughs> so why not use something that's ready made? By your crew to get across, you need a gas bridge. Shoot yourself <laughs> right over <laughs> to the next ship. That's a t-shirt can. <laughs> Guaranteed to get you farther than a ladder. <laughs> Every one of these products makes you need a vacuum bomb or vomit vacuum even more. Even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. Huh. <laughs> Hard decision, huh? <laughs> they're all that bad. <laughs> no, they're all that good. <laughs> you want to oh, really really launch yourself that to the ball. next ship? I am. <laughs> I'm going to become a pirate just to get a pool off. <laughs> <laughs> all your men will be so that's, jealous. That's what are, we don't even have a pool. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
not what a pool doll's for. We just call it that. <laughs> I think the gas would have been better suited to blow up that doll. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, it was just like, are you trying to make a poodle pot? <laughs> I need a two, please. Two. Yes. Okay. Thank you, you so much. I yeah. I didn't see you draw. Oh, I need to myself. You your turn. Okay. I'm a ninja pirate. Gotcha. Oh, you didn't tell us that. Okay. Misinformation. Let's do it again. I <laughs> am Santa. Oh, not Hold. Santa. Go to the mother truck and ho yo. So, yeah, you got all those cookies and milk that you have to drink on your trip. I know. This guy just sold me a vomit vacuum. <laughs> well, you're in a hurry, so you don't have time to use the bathrooms at the houses that you go to. But I do like macing up the toilet seat. So you need a diaper vest. A diaper vest? Why would I have a diaper on my chest? Well, it holds your various diapers, so you have extra diapers. Oh, I Are see. Are you seeing Santa's incontinent? What? He's got places to go, but he has nowhere to go. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. Next. <laughs> okay. I'm just pooping myself here. Yeah. Just I know what's the next one. You know, Sandy gets tired of this crap every year. Exactly. That's what. <laughs> He'd rather stay home on his nice, comfy couch. But his couch doesn't always listen to him. And Mrs. Claus is always nag, nag, nag. So nag. what he needs <laughs> is a leash for his couch so he can take it with him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've played that exact comedy together for it, but in a much different context. <laughs> it's like Less PG-13 right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's with you where whenever you take off and you get tired, you can just so it's just trailing you can drive from it. No, sleigh. no, you can put it in the sleigh with you, but at least so you don't lose it. That sounds like crap yeah. that you need a diaper vest. <laughs> <laughs> Next, oh, God. Please, all right. Cold. <laughs> so you know you've got the belly that shakes like jelly and the cute rosy cheeks. Well, oh, she's buttering you up for something. <laughs> and you want to sit on my lap? <laughs> cherry nose. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, so what you actually need to help keep Christmas cheer up and to be able to be in touch with everything <laughs> is a hope tooth <laughs> where you can hear all of the hopes and Christmas wishes transmitted nicely to one of your back molars. <laughs> Stay in touch with the latest information of what the many children you're serving want for Christmas. It sounds like that couch. would drive you insane after a while. I thought she was going to play like Bluetooth, but with hope. <laughs> That's basically Christmas wishes coming to your teeth. <laughs> you know, after a hard holiday season and visiting every household in one night, Santa Claus just wants to come home and relax. We did tell you about Mrs. Claus, right? Nag, nag. nag. <laughs> and when he gets home, he doesn't want Mrs. Claus to nag at him. So he gets her a beautiful lace dress that he can enjoy her wearing. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're you, all going to the bottom you, of the barrel here. Have you seen Mrs. Claus? Where was this when... <laughs> Cheerleaders were going. I didn't have the <laughs> Did I hear about Lightning Bush? Uh, I'm gonna have to go I with gotta a, admit that Lightning Bush was good. I'm gonna have to go with a hope tooth just because that sounds like something you can actually somewhat. <laughs> oh. I was picturing like his sleigh with his giant couch just sticking out of the back. Thank you. Oh. My face hurts. <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> oh, I gotta be somebody. Is it, is it from the game we were playing earlier? <laughs> no, it didn't help though. Oh Lord. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just want to be this alien. Okay. 
That'd be interesting. You know, it's cold out in space. As you're traveling through the universe and the galaxies. And nobody can hear you scream. Nobody can hear you scream. You need something to keep you warm, but you don't want to always have it with you. Can so you wouldn't it be burn? nice if you could have a blanket that when you're not using it, can fold down into a bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're done doing whatever activity you're doing, at the push of a button, you can hit it. And it turns back into a blanket to keep you warm. What if I'm a amphibian? So amphibians might want to be warm. <laughs> okay, what's next? Cherry, you ready? Go ahead. All right. So you're an alien. I'm trying. But you don't want to be seen on Earth. Okay. You're down there. You're always turning all these cattle inside out and everything, and they sometimes find your tools, and that's embarrassing because now the government, the U.S. government, the Earth government, has alien technology. Not if you used ice knife. Ice knife is a knife that you can use. It's sharp as a razor and will melt away. What am I going to use the ice knife for? Mutilating cattle. What if I'm not there to destroy the Earth? You ain't fooling me, lady. <laughs> okay. Ice knife. Ice knife. <laughs> so, I think the prison guard needs that. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> you're traveling through space. You're in a confined space. You know your air is getting recycled, but this filtration system really working that well? You don't want to offend your, like, fellow aliens. So what you need... <laughs> As a fart excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you pollute the small one time use shared space, <laughs> you get a guaranteed get out of jail card. No one's going to be mad at your flatulence. Can I have that? Aliens don't fart. Or what? How do you know? <laughs> so, although the aliens Can't might not you. fart, those that you bring on your ship to probe might. And you don't want that in your shit. <laughs> oh, so you need an odor pump. <laughs> and those earthlings you're bringing in the probe, they smell funny anyways. You don't want that smell on your ship that long. There's Pump it away. There, then. Oh, well, you know, a fire excuse is really cool, but it's a one-time use. That has more uses. I'll take the odor pump. <laughs> All I'm saying is, since you didn't buy it, you're going to get to know the ice knife. Oops, I didn't get to Sherry. Oh. Oh. Ah, two fart jokes from the women. <laughs> you didn't use any. You didn't use any. Oh, but I want so, more. So still have six. Can I have more? Only six. Yeah, have Learn to use those and I'll give you more. Yeah, okay. How about the duck? You want this? Yes, please. You want the next round. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Drum roll. Ooh, witch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid based on that expression. <laughs> You just used up all your good cards, didn't you? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You want to go first? No, go ahead. Who's ready? All right, so you're a witch. Mm -hmm. You and other witches spend all your time dancing around naked, worshiping the moon. But let me ask you a question. Don't you ever get a little tired of all the dancing? Mm. Eventually, your legs get tired. You want to sit <laughs> down for a second, but you still want to respect the moon. You still want to see the moon. You still want to worship the moon. That's what you need. Moonstool. Moonstool is a stool that's scientifically made, so you're constantly facing the moon. It knows the circulation of the moon. It'll automatically direct you towards the moon. When you're worshiping the moon, it'll keep you right there. And when you're sacrificing someone and you're saying moonstool, that person you're sacrificing, also facing the moon. Moonstool. Sounds more like poop you do out under the moon. <laughs> it does. Moonstool does have an open hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. You're not ready here. So it's cliche 
that would just ride brooms. Why not ride the carpet rick? It's nice and padded. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want a carpet rake between my legs. <laughs> it is padded for comfort with the carpet. And instead of being that typical woman working inside with the broom, you feel like outside with the rake. Maybe the carpet burns. <laughs> for I'm comfort. wondering if it was raking other things. <laughs> <laughs> We, we have the latest product out now for witches because, you know, you work so hard. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to use up all your magic. You only have so much. Right. Now we have the skin machine. Okay. Okay. All you do is throw something in the skin machine. And it comes out. Push a button. It comes out whatever you want. It. Frog, toad, dog. So you can turn a man into anything, anytime without Wait, magic. Do I have to put someone's skin in it? No, no, no. <laughs> he turns into that, whatever it is. Oh. From a dog, or from a person to a dog. Okay. So you put dog skin in it? No, you just put the man in there. The more does the, the machine skin does it. Does it come wrapped in dog it skin? Takes it out of all the little pieces of the person and makes it into a dog. <laughs> I'm just picturing like <laughs> meatloaf. I'm just picturing like meatloaf in the shape of a dog just coming out. The other end. Okay, we well can do that. You want some meatloaf? <laughs> I All right, have, Jeremy. I have the rarest of rare things. Okay. A Pokemon yeah. card? To put with all of your shiny cars on it. I've got rainbow in a bottle. <laughs> rainbow in a bottle is like sunshine in a bottle. She's a witch. <laughs> or moonlight in a bottle. <laughs> Tears of a baby in a bottle. It's rarer than all of those. I only know one spell that it's used in, and I can't even say that name out loud. <laughs> You're starting to for, take after Tim. <laughs> Full of bullshit. <laughs> for fear that more people will learn about that spell. But it should be something that every witch would want in their arsenal. Does it come with a leprechaun? Does it come with a leprechaun? <laughs> if the leprechaun fit in the bottle, yes. <laughs> that sounds like a bunch of moonstool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're all terrible. What are you gonna pick? <laughs> I think I know which one I would pick. Moonstool. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I didn't finish my sales pitch. Rainbow in a bottle. <laughs> oh, by the way, rainbow in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Yep, that's who I would have went with. <laughs> and when they ask why we got divorced, I'll say Moonstool. <laughs> <laughs> or Rainbow in a Bottle. You're going to take the frolicking dancing out of which? <laughs> I don't picture frolicking dancing. How Where's... many of those belong there? <laughs> those ones. Okay. okay. That's all we were doing, right? We oh, we're done? Oh, who won? I have three. I have three. I and have we have one. two. And Sherry had one. Have Sherry one. has one. Tyler. We win again. <laughs> Congratulations. I love that game. That's fun. I enjoy it. That is a good game. But excuse these cards. There you go. There you go. <sighs> well, you played a game that brought me to my asthma. So, yeah, it was a good night. <laughs> we got 10 minutes till New Year's. All righty. <sighs> Too bad we don't have monkey party. Monkey <laughs> party. Monkey's got party's the got party. The, party's got the monk. Party's got the monk. Um, what noises can we make with our little machine? Oh, it figures. <laughs> no monkeys. That doorbell. Yeah, like oh, that was like, a all I'm saying is last time I used couch things, it was a <laughs> much different context. <laughs> and a one. <laughs> so I think I'm in the office at work. My boss gets to work at like five o'clock in the morning. And it was the Halloween one. So it's got these little kids like creepy laughing. <laughs> He's on the floor, like looking under the desk, <laughs> looking under the chair. He he knew I put something in there, but he couldn't figure out what. He's like, I'm not losing my mind. I'm not losing my mind. 
about 11 o'clock in the morning, he closes the door for a conference call and sees it that I put it behind the door. And I just hear, damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he instantly knew it was me. <laughs> I just don't know. I know. <laughs> so you want to get the Halloween one and put in people's houses and make money expelling ghosts? There's another one that goes, hey, can you hear me? Oh, you know about the black and white game, right? Remember black and yeah, white? Yeah. Do you know that they put a sound file in there that was set to go off at a certain time of night? It was search for your name in your system, and it would whisper your name just barely audible enough to make you look around. That's cool. Like Bonsai Buddy? Bonsai Buddy was just horrified. That was awfully hard to get in there. I know, right? I think she did a great job. She made it look easy. Yeah, bonsai buddy. All right, you dealing out cards? What's a bonsai buddy? We got ten minutes to kill. Okay. She says what bonsai. You don't know what bonsai buddy is? Yeah. No. The you what? Know, you know a little paperclip companion that came with Microsoft Office? Yes. That's a bonsai buddy. No, no. bonsai buddy was a little purple I monkey. His name was Clippy. It is. Okay. But bonsai <laughs> buddy was a little purple monkey that kind of ran on your desktop. And it's okay. kind of like a little personal assistant. He'd answer questions for you. He'd play games with you. Tell yep. you stories. Tell, tell you jokes, stories. Eat up your computer. Put in spyware. When was that? And terrify you on Halloween. Were you there with me when that happened, or was I by myself? No. Nah. I think I think Mike or Ross was with you. Either way, I cut out my computer, and I'm sitting there and sitting here. Hello, Tom. I'm like, the fuck? And I'm like looking around, and did you like my Halloween voice? Oh, <laughs> Like, the worst part about Bonsai Buddy is no matter how many times you erased him, he managed to come back. Mm-hmm. Like he embedded himself in your computer. I ended up having to like format everything just to get rid of him. I don't remember having that much trouble getting rid of him. I did. <laughs> they had Bonsai Buddy. They had like draw, or studs. draw sevens and jacks are wild. And jokers. And jokers since they're in there. You remember like the little strippers you can get that would dance to the corner of the computer? What's the difference? Well, Bonsai Buddy was purple and the strippers were girls that were going naked. Three. Three. I, I meant more of the, I don't know, poker. Oh, uh, between yeah. draw and stud? Mm-hmm. Stud, you don't get to draw cards. Okay. You just want one? Yes, it's just one. I want three. I'll take two. And I will take two. I'll take it closer. <laughs> Thank you. What was wild again? Sevens and jacks. Okay. All right. What's everybody got? I got three of a kind queens. No, I only have a pair of tens. Full house? Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Four <laughs> tens. I just got three aces. Four tens. Wins. I win. Yeah, four tens wins. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of wild cards, my friend. I know. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take the jokers out. We noticed. <laughs> you are a joker. That's why Jeremy made them wild. Do you remember when cards used to have little rules in them? Like yeah. you have that one card. I never I took those Texas out Holden. half the time, too. That's too much work. What's that? Blackjack? Texas Hold'em is where you'll have two cards. Everybody has two cards. Mm-hmm. And he keeps putting the cards down in front of him. You know the and only reason I running. know what a full house is is because I had a programming test back when I was trying to get like software engineering job that was like write a self playing poker program and I was like I need the rules. You no, know, without betting, there's really no point to playing Texas Hold'em. No, let's do blackjack. Okay. Twenty one, right? Yep. Ooh, I well, can't we, count. We had to write a mouth for blackjack. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> I gave it back to him. <laughs> It might have been a winner. That's the reason why I was like, let's play blackjack, because we already had two cards in front no, of us. No, you have to take them back. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't deal out additional the correct additional cards, too. It's only two jokers. Well, that's true. Just making sure. This is Beetlejuice. Ah! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Six minutes. Somebody's ahead of themselves. Boom, boom. Just a cinch. I'm trying to do it myself. <laughs> Is that a six? Right, so you want to hit? It is a that six. Is a six. Okay. Do we get to look at the other one? Ten. 
and Tim showing eight. Are we playing just against you or? You're playing, playing against me. Okay. I'm going to stay. She has to go first. Okay. I'll take a hit. Of cocaine? I'll take another hit. Thank you. I think you just I busted. <laughs> You didn't help me much. You gave me a 13 and then a 10. Not nice. Um, hit. And I'm busted. 20. 18. 17. Dealer wins. What a possible other way. Dealer <laughs> always wins. You guys enjoy playing cards. I have a great poker setup. I love to play cards. Oh, I love cards. Oh, he's got the a beautiful only setup I for poker. poker. Rules enough to play that as a thing is. So not you're not going to learn if you don't play yeah. for a coding exam on Hacker Week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't play for real money. We just play yeah, for just chips. Poker chips. Yeah, yeah, I like to play poker, but I don't play for money. Sounds good. I'll play for cookies. <laughs> oh, now you're talking my language. Mm -hmm. Gluten-free cookies, which she's playing. Never mind. <laughs> Gluten-free cookies. I don't want to win your cookies. Ten. Ten. Nine, five. What are you doing? Yeah, don't you need a space card? No. You. The dealer is the one down and keep it up for everybody else. What have I got? 20? Because you're not playing against everybody yeah. else, so it doesn't matter what they got. I'm showing seven. You got to hold? So yeah, wait, wait, do we get to see what Tim has? It doesn't matter because we're not playing against each other. We're all playing against her. But oh. She shouldn't be able to see what we get either. It doesn't matter. But you've got 20. Dealer, got dealer 20. always Dealer has to, to hit at okay. 16. And... At 17, she stays. I might as well hit. They've got 20. <laughs> you don't have to be there. You're not you a beating be us. you got to be here. Be her. Oh, okay. Then I will stay. Okay. I hard. saw that coming, and that was hard. <laughs> Just sounded like a smacky stingy. There has 17. You win, you win. She loses. I lose. I, have, I can't. I we win, win we win, we win. This is my We're young gonna, This is my young one on a rider deck. We're going to play war, five-way war. Oh, I love war. I don't remember how Jeremy and I play that for hours. I have to play No. Well, you can't because if you have a tie, you start losing two people. people. You get down to two people really fast when you have more than two people. What are we playing? Blackjack? Mm -hmm. Just because that's what I was thinking of when I started dealing. I'll stay. I don't think, Tim. You forgot to do theirs. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> yeah, Tim I'll definitely take it. Okay. He's just playing with me. <laughs> okay, you ready? Wait. There you go. He's saying all that. I'll take it. That's fine. You want to hit? <laughs> That's not how I'm supposed to play. We're playing, we're playing Tim that rolls. That depends. Are you adding a card to your stack? It's a queen if you want the hit. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> want to hit? No. no, you have to take it. You block. Okay. <laughs> Everybody but Tim wins. <laughs> Hooray! You're Hooray. a loser. Hoorah! Is it time? Is it we time? got one minute. Probably less one than a minute, minute remaining. Oh, God. This was fun. Too bad this doesn't show seconds. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7. We don't have any any noise makers. My phone does. Yes, we do. They're on the counter. Do we stop? Oh, let's get them. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Would have been nice if you forgot it. So it was all over and went. Wait, I have noise makers. <laughs> Hurry, Jeremy. I'm hurrying. Faster, Jeremy. Faster. Jeremy, you're we ruining New Year's. Thirty seconds. Well, twenty-five. Mm. Yes, I Mark. Get set. Uh, Hurry up. Uh, too many things in one smell. I got 13. Is it a kazoo or? 10. 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Midnight. Three, Happy four. New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I totally went on.
more. Ready? Aww. <laughs> Her flat, low tone. Mine sounds like Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do sound like Rudolph. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Are you for fun? Look how much I love these things. It's so... <laughs> I always loved them. Yeah, I was like, I just kind of broke. I just <laughs> watch them go out and come back. <laughs> oh, you sound sick. You're just giving like two different tones. Uh-huh. <laughs> now remember, if we go through a sobriety check tonight, we have to be like, Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! <laughs> be even better if you do that tomorrow night. <laughs> How do you keep a geek? Yep. My first tone in the middle. Less likely to go through a sobriety check tomorrow night, though. You don't know. Oh, oh, wait, you missed the best part. What? Obnoxious obligatory song. No. 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 We, we already don't do it. We already get hit by YouTube enough. And we're going to get hit by YouTube. <laughs> you're going to get hit by YouTube. As long as it's less than a certain number of seconds. <laughs> so, um, is that it? Happy That's it. Happy New, Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us for uh, game night. And our inaugural year of. Geeks. And as the only two viewers, Sherry and I thank you for putting on a show. Hey, it was great. <laughs> but you know what? Wait, what it'll live name? out there forever and people can come back and watch it. To YouTube later. or Twitch? True. YouTube. 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 <laughs>